All right, what's up, guys? It's me, Jackson, back. Um, I failed again. So today we're doing the decorations and everything for the 95 gallon and also going to pick up a new fish right now. Um, but yeah, I did the sand and stuff yesterday and forgot to film it, but it was probably a good thing because my tank was so cloudy. It might still be cloudy, so I don't know how much we're going to be able to do right now today. But uh, yeah, so... I think we're going to the fish store right now, and then I'm about to feed the molly to the lionfish. Oh, get it, get it, get it! Damn! Eat oh, him. No, he's not that hungry. This one's hungry. All right, we're gonna do another one. This is the other lionfish. You ready? Oh, that's a big one. Boom! Oh. <laughs> Made a little trigger fish. Oh, look at this. They still have a shark egg. It's super hard to see, but you can see them wiggling in there. They have a really good coral selection everywhere. Literally eats my I forgot one. You're gonna hurt yourself. You got bald. Oh. He bit you? He didn't hurt? No. Oh, all right, guys, what's up? We're back at the house now. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed some of those clips that I added in there. But uh, I actually failed to show the fish that we actually got. So uh, in here is our new night goby, and he gave me this fat. So they gave him, got me that, and we got this night molly. And then we got a few, uh, we also got a few plants for free for the, uh, the 95, which I'll show you guys in a second. But uh, it's looking really good. It's actually really clear from what I saw this morning. But uh, first things first, we got to get these guys in the tank and uh, acclimated. So uh, let's do that. All right, guys. So this is what it looks like right now. The sand's not super orange. In the... There we go. It's a lot darker orange than on the camera. We got this big piece of driftwood in there. I'm going to change where it is because I don't like it. We're going to have to go around these walls with a brush because a lot of the sand settled on the wall. And all these, I'm gonna have to net like a bunch of these rocks. They're all just floating around. Uh, clean the filter off. But uh, so far it's looking pretty good. Obviously we gotta throw some sand, more sand in that corner. Just even this out kinda. But like I couldn't even it out. I couldn't see anything last night. But uh, we also bought a heater for it. And also this little thermometer. And it's just a bunch of rocks. So we did a little bit of that. We still have some extra. I wish we did a little more. So you could see it, but we did like, you can see it. And that's why there's rocks like that floating around. But it looks good so far. I'm gonna move that around. We got the rocks to put in and we also got plants to put in. And then after that, it's gonna look pretty good. All right, we got the rocks in now. It's all cloudy in cause I mixed up. I tried to get some of the stuff off the top, but I'm gonna have to go through with the net again. Kind of mix it up a little, but that rock's looking good in there. The log looks cool like that. It's like a little cave underneath. So now we're gonna do the plants. And then I also forgot that I got bubblers. So we're gonna put the bubblers in too. All right, now we got some of the plants in. We got those back there. It's really hard to see right now, but once it clears up, it'll feel look good. So let's do the bubblers now. All right, I got the bubblers done. Looks pretty good. We just gotta get the tank to clear up after messing with it. Some of the gravel mixed around, but I think it looks better, a little bit mixed up. Gives it that more of a river-like vibe. But uh, I'm not too big of this little, I did this little splitter thing, but if I use one more than the other, nothing will come out of that one or nothing will come out of that one. So I'll end up splitting it again. I have to get suction cups for the lines. But other than that, it looks pretty good right now. All right, let's get to adding this fish in. Oh yeah, he's cool. <gasps> what the frick? Oh my, how does that even happen there? All right, let me fix that real quick and uh, I'll be back. All right, we got 
It's three cubes of blood worms. And uh, we're gonna feed them. You gotta wait for He's getting big. Oh, the eel. And the red tail oh, smell. Yeah, they, it. The red tail hasn't been in a video yet. Guys, that's Oscar, my red tailed catfish. I posted a, a short with him. But uh our one pick this is still here. We still we saved one. There's the Thanks. you never see the spotted Raphael. I forget that I even have him. Oh there he is. Look at him. He's so cool. It's crazy to think these things get giant and fast. And I go be back there. He looks so cool in here. Dude, that night goby is so cool looking. Look at him. Eel's getting huge too, man. I remember when I bought him, he was like that big, and now he's giant already. Oh, the goby's up close. From now on, all right, guys. I'm not really into giving my fish names, but uh, I gotta give a couple of them names, like Oscar the Red Tail. Um, but this is my son Adonis. He's the only one in that's in this tank for now. Um. Cause you help cycle it but uh soon we'll get some for this just got to figure out what i want but uh his name's larry we're gonna name the synodontist larry and uh let's get him put back in here oh, he's all bright colored right now too there you go buddy so dark and all right that's about it for this video guys Today, we set up the 95 gallon aquarium finally. Got that running. We got new fish in there. We put uh, Larry the Synodonis back in. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, again, I appreciate it if you like. Comment what you want to see. Put in the new tank. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time.